hair and you still got the mustache. I thought you were gonna shave it. Yeah, I thought about it. <laughs> but it just wasn't me. I was watching, looking at them. I said, oh, they look kind of weird. So I just said, I don't want to do that. Not right now, anyway. I wanted to ask about the D line. Who are some of the guys you see emerging in that room behind Fidel? Oh, all of them, man, especially the inside. But uh, Chase Simmons done a good job. Uh, Dennis Jaquez, Isaiah Hastings, and then both of the young freshmen at the end are doing really well. Uh, Jahalis and um, King, you know, they're doing a good job. Even uh, Sai just came here. You know, Stan's doing a good job. So all those kids are. But our interior, I'm excited about you know, those guys just uh, competing inside. Tank and uh, the rest of the guys inside, you know, they're working their butts off. Young Murad. Um, Perry really stepped up a whole lot. I mean, it's just a lot of them. Big Mike, uh, Kevin Jabodi is one that people will see is going to be a difference maker too. So, I mean, Coach E does a good job and done a good job for a long time. So, you know, we're just trying to continue to build depth so then that way everybody has a chance to play. So, they all can enjoy the parties on the weekend. Right? Curious about Deuce Chestnut's song in Street Clothes today. Mm -hmm. Is he nursing an injury or is it just. No, he just was ill. Yeah, illness. Yeah, yeah. He was down, and different things that he was doing, so we decided to keep him out just so that he could be straight, get him a bunch of fluids in him and all like that before he comes back in. So he's just down. Bring the offensive line, just what you can say, some of those new guys as well as the guys coming back, how they're gelling together. Oh, they're starting to really come together. Like before, people say it naturally, but now they're starting to all get on the same page. You know, they're starting to work together. Coach Dale Williams was a good football coach, and then we got uh, Demetrio who just came. Along with on our staff to go along with Phil Gar. Those guys, um, I think all the players gravitate towards them all. So they're doing a good job. But they're joining together. They're all working together. And they're just coming with you, you know, and then we do a building depth. So that's my main thing. I want to be able to roll by them. You, know, you can play a lot of guys. I don't want guy, a big guy to have to play 90 plus snaps. You know what I mean? Or rather than be able to split it or move it out at least 70, 30, something of that nature, and then that way. As I said earlier, everybody gets to enjoy the party, you know. We all get to have fun together and enjoy the college. Fran, among the new people in this uh, room now that you have on this team, includes a bunch of people in the transfer portal that you got in after the spring game and after the spring practice sessions. What was it like to get those people into the program and even after spring practices and how have they kind of integrated into your program? I mean, anytime you can get other student athletes here to come get education and play football, I mean, it's always a plus, and especially when they're good kids of character, uh, understood and believed what our culture was, so no. Dart was a big part to them, and they knew that uh, that's what it was going to take to be on the squad. And um, so it helped that we got those guys in, you know, with um, Clarence Lewis being a huge addition to us, um, being able to be here. And then a couple of other guys out of high school coming in helped a lot. And then, of course, saved me on Washington. You know, it's a bunch of kids that came in, uh, even some of the freshmen who were just going to be there, like, you know, uh, Davian Carr, uh, who just came in late that we ended up getting from a camp that he did a great job on. He has the ability to play this as a freshman, so and it's it's always a blessing to get more student athletes on campus, though, you know. What specifically about Clarence Lewis caught your eye when you were recruiting him out of the portal? I recruited him in high school, so I didn't know he was a good player in high school, and then see him go to the portal. I knew he, um, I know Notre Dame is a great program, uh, good history. I thought I knew that they uh, he graduated from there, so I knew that he would be an intelligent kid, and um, just love football. You know, because he just wanted to continue to go on, graduating. It was like time for him just to get a new start, you know, a new slate. And I felt as though uh, since we had a pretty good relationship when I recruited him when I was at Rutgers, that, you know, I um, just thought this would be a good fit for him. And plus, he wants to want some leadership in the corner room. You know, I think that uh, we got a lot of young guys that are really good. Uh, but you want that older half, you know, just wanted to get a little bit of knowledge in there and some guys that have been in the game a little bit so you can have some game experience and not – Everybody that plays is always there, first time, first time, first time. You know, so he brings a lot of wisdom to the group. How would you like to see him progress if there's anything you'd like to see him progress on this season? I just want him to continue to do well. And I want him to do well in his art. I think he's a really good artist. Uh, he has a lot of artwork that he's always sending me and doing stuff. So I'm, um, I'm hoping that that works for him. I'm hoping that he continues to get stronger in his faith. And then just dominate football. You know, the kid wants to play in the National Football League. So I hope that he helps us do the things that we need to do here as a team so that way his individual goals will be uh, accomplished for him to play on the next level after college. Like, I want him to just get better at everything, you know, just continue to get better. And just to accomplish it all. I want him to get drafted and 
be really good at art. I would like to go to an art gallery and see some of his, you know, paintings and things up like that. So I think he's a good kid. No. Coach, what have you seen from the, the wide receiver room? It's a balance of transfers, freshmen, and guys coming back this season. What have you seen from them to start a game? They've been tough with Dale. Blocking better. You know, trying to get involved in that and how uh, to catch the ball. They're fat. They can run. We got some guys in there with good speed. So they're just getting tougher. They're working. You know, we're just watching them. We've got a long way to go with the wide outs right now. So we just got a lot to do. We got a lot, a lot of work that we want to get done. But we got a good leader in Meeks. And, uh, some of the other guys that are there, uh, Mari Hatchie's done a great job. Uh, you know, Yazid Haynes is here, uh, Gill's here, so it's a bunch of guys. And we brought some young guys in, Emmanuel Ross, that I think is really good. He can play ball. Uh, Hornsby's just been stepping up early. You know, all those guys, you don't want to forget any of their names, but I think they're all a uh, really good job. And um, Trevor's just, I mean, he's just Mr. Consistent, you know. You can always count on Trevor to make a play in practice every day. Uh, that's just what he does, so. We're just hoping that um, he keeps healthy and keeps doing what he's doing because Trevor's, uh, Trevor's a piece. You know, he's a good player. I'm not sure I saw Justice Ross Simmons out there with the wide receiver group. Do you have any status or update on him? He must was in that practice. Okay. Yeah, he was there. He was okay. there again. Okay. Um, what have you seen from him and uh, what he can you know, also bring to that wide receiver group? Uh, maturity. You just got to keep getting in shape. But he's doing a good job. Catch the ball well. I think he can catch the ball well. He's intelligent. And he's just, we run different. You know, it's a different environment. But he's doing a really good job, man, picking up on stuff. And, you know, he'll be a guy that you know, look out and watch for him. Coach, what have you seen from Teron Haley so far? He seems like he's making a lot of impact in practice so yeah, far. Yeah, he, he caught a nice ball today. You know, he's doing a good job. You know, he caught a nice ball today. So he's doing really well, especially the good freshman. He understands it. I, I think if he doesn't, the corner put him in a headlock, so he better lock in and do his job. So he's done a good job, though. Yeah, proud of him. Coach, as we're nearing the first game this season, at this point in camp, how much is meshing this team together, getting everyone comfortable with the new offense, new defense, and how much is you know scouting that first couple of points that you guys have? We're, we're just locked in on us right now. Still trying to become a closer family. That are like being a team for this two chaotic situations and making sure that we understand them. Um, so we're just focusing on us right now. We're not really not worrying about other teams at the moment. Even though the teams we play are extremely well, but if you don't take care of what's in your own house, there's no way you're gonna fix what's outside. So we just got to focus on us a little bit more. I don't think that we're completely ready to be worrying about our other team. We got to focus on us. Five practices in. What stood out to you? Um, and where would you like to see this team improve as ball practice continues? I just want us to continue to um, hold each other accountable. You know, and be detailed. You know, be our first two letters: detailed and accountability. You know, if we can be detailed, more detailed and accountable, and when things don't go the right way, that we can still be able to hold each other accountable and not take things personal, then I think that we'll be headed towards the right track. You know, we got. Some good football players, but it's all about the mental, you know, all the other teams. Every team got good players. Every team worked hard. Every team just waits all summer. But now it's the guys that can gel it and play it all together, hold each other accountable when they don't see things that are right. And as long as our guys can accept what their brother's telling them, we'll be fine. Coach, you tease Fidel Diggs playing a little tight end. What sort of packages and situations will we see with him on the offensive side of the ball? I'll tell you all my secrets, the name secrets, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna see them at some point in time, you know? But I can't tell you that. That wouldn't be intelligent enough for me to do that. That would be like, yeah, I can't tell you that, man. And when you look at the running back room, just what Willis does for this team and what type of dynamic he has with Oakland? Oh, he does a good job, man. They all do. They all, I think they all complement each other well. You know, I think that whoever plays with Oakland will complement him well. But Willis does an amazing job. Um, he's a big freshman there. Understands it. He runs with mouth starts, you know. And um, but he also can shoot. You know, he got some moves with him, and he can catch well. A lot of people don't know that he can catch, but he does a good job. And uh, I think him and um, Will Nixon are becoming really close. Also, you know, the fact that they came there and Will knows things, uh, they're all becoming close. I'm excited about those kids coming. Uh, how has uh, Kyle McCord been a mentor, especially for the younger quarterbacks, and even mentor for a quarterback like Carlos? I think he's a mentor for the entire team. You know, he's the leader of the football team, you know, it's like you know, and just a good football team as we're working our butts off to become. Usually it's the head coach, then it's the quarterback, and it goes the coordinator because like, the quarterback is everybody's quarterback. Coordinate, defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator. 
So I think he does a good job just mentoring everybody, talking to everybody, and being the leader that the team needs. And what have you just seen from some of the younger guys, the younger quarterbacks in that room? I think they're all getting better. Really, I think Coach Jones is a really good quarterback coach. He's been for a long time. Um, so they're constantly getting better. You know, they had bad days, and they're, they're some of them are freshmen, so they get all upset and think, well, they try to put their whole career on one day at practice. And then you just talk to them and get them back out of it. So, and that just shows you that they might not be ready yet. But I think they're doing a really good job. I think that uh, Carlos is doing well. He's gotten so much better. Mike Johnson has taken some steps. And he's really doing a good job. Um, Jakari's doing well. You know, you got Patrick who just came in, AJ. So it's a bunch of kids that are doing well. But, um, they're all taking steps, you know. I think MJ's done really good, though. You know, MJ kind of picked up all stuff fast. So we got a, three guys really competing for that two spot. There's three of those guys competing for that two, three spot. So we'll see how it goes. They're the best man. I think we've heard of those two guys. I noticed Braylon Ingram in a boot, I think, today on his left foot. How long are you guys expecting him to be in that? Yeah, he will not be playing at Syracuse anymore. He tore his Achilles, so um, he'll get surgery and he'll work with us. He'll get him involved with us. And, uh, you know, he wants to do project management work. So we're going to already start to work on finding him a job after this season and work and all like that so that way he can go be successful. Unless I pull him in, I really want him to want to coach. So I'm hoping that, you know, I can pull him in and he can want to be a part of the coaching staff and things of that nature. But um, he's involved in project management. It means a lot to him. So. Hopefully we can find a real great union or construction type things of that nature where he can go at and uh, be able to start making money young, you know, and get involved and start his life off early at the age of 22 years old and just get going and get a head start on everybody else. So um, sad for him, pray with him. I'm extremely thankful that I got a chance to know him and he get a chance to be here with us because he's a really good kid. But, um, you know, he'll get surgery tomorrow. Is that a training camp injury? Did that happen like over the past week or was that sometime before? I just happened a little while ago. Oh. Yeah, it happened a little while ago. And then we just kind of seen where it was at, but it was a little while ago. A name we've heard a lot in, um, from the defenders is Marcellus Barnes. What qualities has he shown to continue to earn that respect from the rest of the defense? He's smart. Yeah, he's a smart kid. He's really intelligent. I think um, his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Barnes, done an amazing job raising him. You know, just to uh, understand his faith, understand academics is important to him, athletics, like just what he does on the field. But he's intelligent and he's really tough. And, like he's extremely tough. He likes contact. Uh, he wants to cover. He wants to know how to do everything. So, you know, he's a kid that if he continues to do what he's doing now, he'll play a lot this year. So I hope that he does play. I mean, the kid just, just kind of got it a little bit. He's tough. He's a tough guy. So I like him a lot. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. 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 Thanks.